Good morning, happy vacationers. It's five o'clock in the morning on Je Ju June the 29th, 2013, and Frank and Sandy are getting ready to take a trip to Dayton, Ohio. This is the first leg of our trip, so I'll, I'll show you what's going on and as we get further on down the road. Of course, I'm not gonna hold on to this the whole time, but just a little bit of snippets here in there to let you know how we're doing. Okay, here we are on Constitution, driving east, and we're going to be driving east for quite a while. All you guys in California, this is what the east looks like. We're going to be hitting the prairie, probably in about 10 minutes. This is for you, Gordon. Oh yeah, Gordon, by the way, we'll show you where you got your ticket. Turn left on Highway 24 and head east for 100 miles. Okay, first left turn of our trip, heading east on Highway 24. Next stop, Wyman. Oh, we just passed Peyton Highway. <clears throat> Been on the road for uh, about 20 minutes. How about that? Half an hour. We loved it. Do, 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 do. quite as hilky as it's going to get. We'll see what's over the next ridge. Here we are approaching Kelhan. <clears throat> this is where the county fair is. The El Paso County Fair is in this wonderful town of Callahan. As you can see, the toy museum is on the left. A wonderful tourist stop. That's, 35. And as we slow to 35 miles an hour, Leave Callahan. We'll be driving through Callahan in about two seconds. All right, we're probably about uh, five minutes outside of Callahan, and there's a little sunrise action hanging up here. We're coming up here on the straight ahead soon. Right? We're not quite there yet, so I'm back in a couple. Of to 2 a.m. and the sun is peeking out over the clouds. We just passed Rama about five minutes ago. 45. And, and we're going to an, another little town. And this one's called Simla. 35. Oh, yep. Elevation is 6,029 feet. 35. And Sandy tells me it's 35. And look, a baseball diamond. How about that? Well, the sun is up now. We'll be driving into the sun probably for another two hours. At least until it gets overhead. Well, that is covered right now. Let's see what happens when I turn into it here. So get the, the full glory of it. Wow, look at that. Well, first milestone is Lyman. Lyman, Colorado is where uh, Highway 24 intersects with Interstate 70. Actually, it's still called 24, but it's an Interstate 70 at that point where it goes east toward Kansas City. So as we roll into this wonderful little bird, we're not even going to stop here. We usually do to get a hamburger or a McDonald's. Sandy might want to do that. Are you going to do that? 45. Okay. So long for now. 16 miles to Burlington. You don't need gas to. 16 miles to Burlington. Well, we just entered Kansas. And here we are on the road to Kansas. Of 
Goodland, Kansas. And uh, I don't know what this off ramp is, but you can see us. Happy Highway on the road. I think I'm going crazy. There's a bridge. There's a water tower. Oh yeah, and Sandy says, look, there's corn. There's corn. Lots and lots of corn. Knee high by the 4th of July. If you ever wanted to know what driving through Kansas is like, this is it. Yep. Kansas. What's this on the right here? Corn. Corn. What's on the left? What's on the left? Nothing. Corn. There you go. Kansas. Corn for miles. Miles and miles of corn. As we come up to the roadside, as we're listening to country music, written by a Colorado native, the road says 24 to Levant, exit 45. Stopped here once. There's a bunch of gift shops in there with a bunch of nothing. Remember that? Look at that ice cream there. Landmark. Western Business Historic Byway. Oakley Overton. And the off ramp to go to Prairie Dog Town. And the Fick Fossil Museum. And the Fick Fossil Museum. And the Five Legged Cow. And the world's largest prairie dog. And we're missing it. Oh well, maybe on the way back. All right. 70 east. We just took a we just took a side uh, pit stop here and got some gas. Hayes, Kansas. In Kansas, Hayes, Kansas. We drove 309 miles from our house to this point. And it's 10:45 local. Time. And it's 10:45 local time, so we count the time that we. Started. That's nine. Wow. That's four and three quarters hours. So back on the road we go after the first pit stop, and back on the road again as what's his name says, Willie Nelson. So been on the road five hours, huh? The Oz Museum. Been there. Oswego, Kansas. Back on the road again, Kansas! Yay! Here is the historic cathedral of the plains, over in the distance. We've been there too. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a couple of spires, and it's a pretty amazing place. Because we've been there. But we're not going there today, are we, dear? No, we're on a mission. We're on a mission. There is Victoria, 168. And Sandy's singing Rocket Man. 345, 346 miles. And we're approaching uh, Salina, Kansas. And um, I'm going to be passing this truck here in a moment. But off of the distance are these windmills that are right off the road. They're amazing. And they're huge. And they're quite something to see. I'll show you those in a few, just as we pass them later. Here. Here we are lifting the vents, travel down the road, and there are the windmills that I always talk about. Love them. It's hard to tell sometimes. Look at them just go wing, 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 wing. They're just kind of mesmerizing, you know? I know. And I have both hands on the wheel, everybody. I'm just going 
get right up here. alien things. I just just love these things. Sorry. Just gotta take a picture of them. I am driving. I may never pass this way again. I may never pass this way again. So I'm taking pictures of them right now. That's pretty amazing. Love those things. Okay, that's enough for now. All right, here's another uh, milestone. Okay. Okay, we'll take two. Here's another milestone. Last time we were through here, we turned right at Wichita to go to Memphis. But we're not doing that today. Okay, now we've just reached a 400 mile mark. Colorado Moore House actually and we're just outside of Salina, Kansas. As a matter of fact, there's a sign that says Saline River. How about that? White D. Eisenhower Presidential Library coming up next in Abilene, Kansas. And there's the Abilene sign. Thank you. Oh, we still got two off, three off ramps to go. So there. Greyhound Hall of Fame. Wow, everything's over here. The Abilene must be a real happening place. Oh boy, Just Joe Snuffies. Look at that old-fashioned grill. And look, Russell Stover candies. Or, or maybe this is the main place. Heck if I know. Pretty big place. Lots of trucks. Abilene, the home of President Ike. Eisenhower was president when I was born. Hardly anybody knows who he is anymore. Look, there's a presidential golf course. Do you see that little president sign sitting over there flapping? This is a landmark. We'll see a historical landmark sign here. Huh? Bud, Bud Creek. And uh, I'll see if I can uh, catch this. Eisenhower Center Library Museum Home Dickinson. Look at that. And there we are. We're going to miss it. We're gonna drive right by it because we're on a mission. The guy in front of us is gonna go. He loves it. Good for him. As we pass exit 275, on to the next milestone. Over on the left, on I-70 going through Kansas, is Fort Riley. Home of the big red one. I don't know what the big red one is. Maybe it's a big red one. That's probably what it is. But we'll never know. I'll have to look it up when I get back. More of Kansas. How about that? We've gone 449.6 miles. Let's call it 450 miles so far. It's 12.42 local time. We're a little bit over halfway there. Oh boy. Okay, now we're going through Topeka, Kansas. The junction of 470 and 75. And there's a bunch of stuff going on over here. I have no idea what it is, but the speed limit went down from 75 to 65. And now I'm seeing lots of street signs that says that we're going to be coming through congestion and city traffic. Topeka, here we come. Down. 
Well, guess what? Part of the interstate system is now a toll road. Can you believe it? Hmm. I can't. Well, I guess they did make some improvements. It might have been three lanes at one time. This is K-Tag 10, or K-Tag 10 miles an hour is what it says. Huh. Anyway, here we are at the toll road. All right. We're uh, coming up on Kansas City, Kansas. We've been on the road eight and a half hours. We've been on the road eight and a half hours. Right now we're looking at 560 miles from our house. It's 2.19 local time. All right. We'll see the Kansas City skyline in a few minutes. Sure we will. First St. Louis sign. And it's still windy as hell. Well, so it looks like we have a little bit of um, uh, construction going on in Kansas City. Uh, we're, on, get off here, we're on the other side of Kansas City. I don't want to get off here. And uh, we're going toward the ballpark, but they uh, have two lanes closed and we're going to be stuck here. It's going to delay us probably about maybe 10 minutes uh, on our timeline. Oh, look at that. Got a wreck going on here. Um, Alright, so we went through the um, traffic jam and uh, we're going toward um, KC, Kansas City Royal Stadium. Here we are in Missouri. So we just went through Kansas. Yay. No more Kansas for us today. So uh, I'm going to start this in a minute and we'll see the stadium on the right soon. And there's Coffin Field right there, buddy. That, well, actually, that's, um, I think they must be on the road. Yeah, they must be on the road. So this is uh, where we walked to the bridge. Yeah, and this is where Jerry almost got hit by a truck. So there's where Jerry almost got killed. Okay, we're on I-70 going east towards uh, Kansas City, uh, uh, St. Louis. So here's what the scenery looks like on this part of the road. We're coming toward um, Bait City and Napoleon, exit 31. Okay, ladies and germs, and we're still on the road, and uh, we just passed a sign that Derry's hometown, uh, Derry's from Higginsville, Missouri. And um, let's see if I can get the Higginsville sign here so I can send him a picture of it and uh, let him know that I saw it. Higginsville, Missouri. What the heck? I never knew, I never thought that was a real place. Did you, honey? I don't. Alright, so here's the Higginsville sign here on the right. Number 13. Exit 49. Higginsville. Hey, we're in Higginsville now. Man, I don't think I'll call Barry. All right, we're at uh, mile 633, outside of somewhere in Missouri. We're getting close to Columbia. We're getting close to Columbia, Missouri, and uh, we ran into a little weather. Um, it was really hard and blowing a little while ago, and I didn't want to hold the camera at that time, but I thought I'd give you a little uh, more action here. Okay, I always talk about this porn shop that's off the interstate. 
not that I would want to stop there or anything like that, but if that was just kind of an odd thing for it to be. And um, I'm not sure. This is. I thought this was the exit. Oh, it's the next exit. 83, not 84. All right, we'll try this again. Yep. Thousands of them. Here's more Missouri Highway. I'll just merge all these little shots. You can just see how long it takes to get there. Mile 651. traffic um, group called traffic and here we are still on the road and it's uh, 543 local time mile 719 mile 730 approximately 50 miles from O'Fallon Missouri mile 772 here's our off-ramp for our hotel for the night in O'Fallon. Now I've got to go six miles on this road. Dan's a little off the path, but that's alright. Sandy said it's a little off the path, but that's alright. We'll just figure out how we're going to get back on the interstate. I've got the direction. That water tower thing. Oh, we're going to turn left on Wing... Wing... Haven. Wing... Haven. Haven. Wing Haven. This is DD Wing Haven is where we're going to get off to spend the night. Our first night on the road on this trip. There's the Mississippi River, folks. It's a big one. I had no idea. Get on your side of the road. I am. Mississippi, home of the Delta Blues. At least we're way north of the Delta Blues. Another bridge. Chain of Rocks Canal. This is the Chain of Rocks Canal. And the Lewis and Clark Historic Site. About that. Lock and Dam 27. Indianapolis. Here we 
that's hard to find a better. Driving through yeah. Illinois. Farmland. I just think of it in terms of being able to see for miles. And changing your school set. I think that's what okay, that is. Okay, so what would a younger well, that's what I'm told. Some of the effects that we see from the country are in the There's a sign. Five to fifteen percent change in your Huddle experience. Huddle house. Uh, and All right, so we just crossed the Indiana state line. And maybe there'll be a welcome to Indiana sign. That was tough. Back. Back home again. In Indiana. I gotta stop at the welcome center. Okay. Yes, we do. No, it's great. I'm gonna keep going. It's already 11 o'clock. Oh, I'm gonna miss the welcome center. Well, I don't see no welcome to Indiana sign. Okay, we finally made it to Indiana, <clears throat> and I'm going to get out in the rain and take a picture of the sign. There it is. Hi. Oh, my hair's not fixed. <laughs> Well, for those of you who have never been on the road in Indiana, this is what it's like. <laughs> oh, you know what? And I found, here's the Indiana, Indiana sign. Welcome to Indiana. Crossroads of America. Lincoln's boy home home. Wow, I didn't know that. Wow. People don't go very... Oh, that's trucks over 13. Oh, good. Okay, we'll, we'll go by this this sign and we'll come back later. Bye. Okay, we're now turning off of I-70, mile 1042. We're going on Highway 465 North toward Lebanon, I think. And Siri hasn't spoken to me yet, so we'll see what she says when I make this turn. Five North. Here we go. See now that's flashing. You see those lights flashing? It doesn't seem like I'm going north. I'm going to go on this bridge. So I'm going to turn this off right now. Okay, we're on Highway 465, heading north toward where? Port Lebanon. And then we're going to turn on some other road. But this one's a nice four-lane road. Five lanes. And it's only 55 mile an hour speed limit. Okay, here's our next turn. It says uh, 65 north toward Chicago. Exit only, one half mile. Wow. 
Okay. <clears throat> Mile 1068. We are approaching the Lebanon off ramp or the Lebanon exit. And uh, this is where, this is all I've lived for. Uh, I could not wait to come see where Sandy's from. I'm so excited. Actually, I am. What a nice road trip so far. Except, you drive all this time, and when you get right to where you need to go, there's people in the way. Lots of them. Exit 139. Highway 39. Are we going to get up on this highway? No, the hotel is at 7.40. Oh, we're not going straight to Sandy's city. We're going to... No, we're going to the city. We're it's going to a hotel in the city. Yeah. So it's a different off-ramp. 